Many thanks, Bimbo. Well, at the Lagos International Badminton Classics, Nigeria's number one player, Jim Kambulus, put up a stunning performance to upset defending champion Israel's Misha Zilberman. In the fierce encounter, the Nigerian won the first game 22-20, to lost the second 12-21, to and fought bravely to win the third 21-18 to points to advance to the round of 16. However, his compatriot, Enedjo Abba, lost 2-1 to Portugal's Pedro Martins. In the latest singles, Nigerian players Grace Gabriel, Tosin Atolagwe and Fatima Aziz are also through to the next round. English Premier League champions Chelsea have confirmed that Super Eagles duo of John Mikel Lubi and Victor Moses are part of their two-week pre-season tour of Canada. There are strong speculations over the future of Mikel, Victor Moses and Kenneth Omero at Stamford Bridge. Mikel has been linked uh, with a move away to Alain in Dubai as well as the likes of Inter Milan and Fenerbahce. Moses was at the time expected to make a permanent switch to Stoke City. Omero returns from another lone stint at English Championship side Middlesbrough and he could again be shipped out on another loan deal. The Premier League champions will play a series of friendly games against New York Red Bulls, PSG and Barcelona. Super Eagles coach Sunday Olisa says his aim is to build a solid national team based on an oriented style of play, a team oriented style of play that is. Well, Coach Alisa is convinced that the team cannot depend on individual players to win football games. The former national team skipper also suggested that senior players who are not playing a top football or top flight football in their clubs will not get a chance to play for the country. Mapped out based on the players we have. Um, like as I alluded to earlier, that we cannot expect us to have a playing style whereby it is individual player related because we don't have those players oriented like this. So for that reason, we have to have a team style of play. And what I mean in the, a team style of play, that means we have 11 players on the pitch where every player will not only be told what we expect from him, but will be chosen for that particular position based on certain qualities that he has. For example, um, I'll share with you, you cannot play in our attacking lineup if speed is not one of your strongest points. We need to also get players that are playing in leagues that are solid enough. Like for example, if you're playing in the second division in England, even the Premier League, I'm sorry you can't play here. And you might ask me why, it's fast enough. No, but it's, it's a league that is overtly covered with kick and follow football. And that's not what we're playing here. And that's a wrap on sports news. The News at 10 continues shortly. This is the ultimate, redefined for men. On the foreign scene, shootings at two U.S. Navy buildings have left at least four U.S. Marines dead. They were killed after shootings at two U.S. Navy buildings. The killings in Chattanooga, Tennessee, were being investigated as an act of domestic terrorism. The police say the same man was responsible for the two incidents and confirmed that he had been killed. An unnamed official identified the gunman as 24-year-old Mohammed Abdulaziz. And there's reason to believe that at least two senior commanders from the Islamist militant group Al-Shabaab have been killed in a drone strike in southwest Somalia. Here's Cynthia Are with more details. Well, thank you. As things stand now, there's been no official confirmation from the Al-Qaeda-linked group, but those killed are believed to be Al-Shabaab commanders. Bardera, the town where the drone strike occurred, is one of the few towns still controlled by Al-Shabaab. Then Tunisia has handed over a terror list to Algeria. That list contains a hundred suspected terrorists and it's part of the security cooperation between the two countries. The nationalities of those reportedly on the list are Tunisian, Algerian, Moroccan, Libyan, Malian and Nigerian.
Also today, according to the AU head in Kosazana, Lamini Zuma, the African Union is sending human rights observers to Burundi ahead of next week's controversial presidential election. The monitors will include a military team and will also be investigating alleged human rights violations and also disarm militia. That's the foreign news wrap up. It's back to you, Bimbo. Thank you, Cynthia. And the main news again. More than 40 people have been killed and over 70 others injured following two explosions that rocked the central market in Gombe, the state capital. Former Army Chief Lieutenant General Kenneth Minima has handed over to Major General Tuko Burutai, the former Army Chief, then called for the sustenance of the military's achievements in the fight against terrorism. President Mohamedou Buhari has dissolved boards of parastatals and agencies. He also sacked the Director General of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. That brings us to the end of the news at 10 tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Happy holidays. I'm Bimbo Lady. Good night.